Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of checking out your guys' solar system. So today we've got two systems to do as well since this week I'm doing something a little different. Obviously it's been daily videos this week and also I'm doing one of these videos every two days. So this may be the last episode of the week actually. I don't, I don't know because I'm obviously I'm pre-recording this days before it comes out so I don't know. But today we've got, um, like I said, we've got two systems um, to check out from Nika. So I don't actually have a link to your YouTube channel so please let yourself be known in the comments so obviously everyone can see you there because so I don't have a link so I can't really put you in the description. So yeah, please um, send me a link or something so we can uh, get that arranged um, if you want to do it of course. But um, yeah, anyways, let's get into this. So before we start, anyone who is new, this is a series where basically um, you guys send me your solar systems and I check them out in a video. Because I know some people were wondering um, how to send in their systems and stuff. So if you want to send in a system, either join my Discord or send me a link to where I can download them in the comments of the YouTube videos. But anyways, without that out, or with that all out of the way, let's begin. So the first system we've got um, from Nika today is 43, so it's called 43 and then Venix Solar System. Okay, so here we go. Ooh, we got a pulsar. Hello there. First pulsar in one of your systems that you guys have sent in. Very first one. We've never had a pulsar in one of these episodes before, so nice. That's a nice little um, touch to have that in. Uh, okay, so let's pause it. So obviously, this probably isn't going to be very big. So it's only 5,000. So instead of comparing it to the sun like I normally would, let's compare it to Earth. So there you go. So it's probably about the size of Venus, actually. Just, just a little smaller than Venus, but yeah. So yeah, this guy is tiny, but very, very hot in temperature. It's got very insane density. Uh, how luminous is it? 0.01, so 1% the luminosity of the sun, but obviously that had a, a lot of radiation instead, which would also be dangerous. So here is the um, first object anyway. So 43 Venix B. So we're going with the letters um, num or the letters um, system today, okay? Oh, there's a big gas giant over there. Okay, so this is probably a very small system. So also um, a very similar size to the pulsar. It's very hot here, obviously, because Pulsar's literally just there, it's very close. So it's only a little um, smaller than Earth in mass and radius, it looks like. It's about half the size of Earth in mass, as we can see there. Okay, so there's that. Next up, we've got 43 Vernix C. Honestly, I'd be very surprised if there's an Earth like world in here, but you never know. So this is going for brown and blue color theme. Okay, interesting color theme there. Um, another Earth sized um, object as well, minus 134. So this guy's very cold, so it reflects a lot, well, not too much light. Ah, that's interesting. So, only a little difference, um, or only a little um, bigger in distance away from the um, pulsar than that. But there's a massive temperature drop, thousand degrees, thirty percent reflected of light. But then this guy minus one hundred and thirty-four, and it only reflects fifty-five. So you still, f and it has an atmosphere of um, greenhouse effect. Interesting. So obviously, this thing isn't very luminous either. So, got to keep that in mind. Uh, next up, we've got um, Venix D, and this guy is just burned in a crisp. <laughs> that only reflects 23% of light as well. How is it getting so hot? So this one is a uh, reflects 30% of light. This reflects 23. So does that extra 7% really make that much big difference? Only a thousand, and then this one's 5,000, so or almost 6,000. So does that 7% um, of extra albedo really make that much difference in temperature? Because that's pretty crazy. Um, next up, we've got um, 43 Vernix F. So this is a gas giant. Reflects no light at all. So this guy's very hot. 14 um, degree or 40,000 uh, no 1400 degrees 1400 um, in temperature there largest object we've seen in here but they're all very close together this system um, we've got num next up we've got E Vernix E so this is a um, another gas giant on its side 6.21 masses of earth um, a little larger than Neptune and Uranus uh, only 205 degrees okay and then next up we've got G which is another gas giant okay so there it is there also very similar to the last gas giant we saw. So there we go. That is it for this little pulsar system. So there's not anything else here. Okay, so let's line them all up. And here we go. So obviously the pulsar is not the largest thing in here. Is it actually the smallest? I don't know. It was a planet smaller. So here's the smallest object. And we've got the pulsar. And we've just got all the planets here. So this is probably the smallest um, simulation that's been sent in so far. But either way, I really did like the pulsar. So nice job. So, yeah, there we go. So, that is that. Now, let's check out the next simulation here. So, the next simulation, if I just go to the Discord so I can remember the name. Harks. It's the Hark system, okay? So, H-A-R-C. Here it is here. Okay, let's see what we've got in here. Ooh, is that a modded trail color I see? Oh, I see some modded objects. Okay. So, orbits. Ooh, green planets. Okay. So, here is the whole system. Okay, so let's um, go down here and let's have a look. So, here's our star. This is Hark. S1. 
So, so a thousand Jupiters, so that's the mass of a sun, almost the mass of the sun, 0 0.999. Same size as the sun almost as well, 1.01 .01 sun, so less mass, more radius. Um, 7,000 degrees. It's got a very weird density, that um, one there. 1.01 um, .01 suns, luminosity, so it's pretty much the sun here, but a little more hotter in temperature. So let's go on uh, trails, so we can see here. Okay, so Hark R1 is our first object. So it's a Mercury-like object, no atmosphere, just a rock, 220 degrees. So they're very close to what Mercury is like. Um, there. So there we go. It's a little bigger than Mercury, though. Uh, about 1,500 kilometers bigger around there. Um, here's R2. Then the yellow and lime green theme with a bit of orange as well. Very nice um, mix of colors. 110. Sort of reminds me of Venus, but without an atmosphere. It's quite large. It's also got a little asteroid orbit in it. So there is that. Um, next up, we've got Hark R3. So this is an Earth-like world, okay. So let's zoom in on here. It's going with a dark green brown. Yeah, a lot of you guys seem to be going with greens and then a brown on the low elevation. Quite cool, very nice mix of color. It definitely adds a lot more color to it because if you have it all green, it doesn't look as good, if you ask me. I think having a little bit of a different color in there really makes it look better. So there is um, it on the flashlight mode. So looking good. Is it tilted on its side? Oh, yeah, it is tilted. Look at that. So, yeah, that is a very nice object. Let's check the stats on the composition. 91.4 for similarity, but only that that's number 0 0.0002 for life likelihood. How come? That's interesting. I wonder why it's so low. Um, then we've got Hark R1 or R31. Yeah, if anyone knows why that's quite, or that stat is really low, let me know. So that's quite, I'm quite interested. It seems like it's all correct. Like, two, it's not too much mass, it's not too much radius. Uh, the atmosphere. It's got one p. Maybe it's because it hasn't. It, maybe it's because the surface pressure is too low. If we increase that um, to one atm and then increase the albedo, maybe it'd be better. But I think it's probably because of the surface pressure. But if it, if anyone knows why it's the life likelihood is so low, then yeah, let me know. It's quite interesting why that number is low. But I reckon it's because of the surface pressure being too low. Because we can't really live on low surface pressure. I think we can live on a little quite high surface pressure, but not low surface pressure. So yeah, there's that. It's also got obviously this moon here, 65 degrees. So it sort of reminds me of a uh, Mercury, a Venus without an atmosphere, then an Earth here with two moons. So it's got um, this one here as well. So yeah, two moons. Okay, so next up, have we got a Mars-like object? Hark R4. No, we've got another Earth-like. Okay. This one's got all green on it. See, you can see that it just doesn't look as good as the one with the brown. If we added brown to this, for instance, it just, I don't know, it just looks better. Like, I know I'm editing the object, but... I think that extra shade of colour does look better, if you ask me. So let's put it back. So, yeah, it was like that before. Yeah, there's, um, I do like the, the brown on the low elevation. I think it does look quite cool. So, um, let's get a good look at this guy now. So, there we go. So, a lot of land on this guy, not as much ocean. Let's check the stats on this. Maybe this has a higher surface pressure. Still very low surface pressure. So, I'm guessing as well with you. Yeah, 93.8 similarity, but the likelihood is so low. I reckon it's because of the surface pressure. So if we actually increase this to 1 atm, so I put that in composition, 18.2, so it is the surface pressure. So there you go, point proven. I think the surface pressure, it has to be around 1 atm because we can't live in low pressures. So that's why, but yeah, that's sort of fixed the object, I guess. Um, next up we've got Hark R41. So this is just a little um, moon, as we can see there, quite close to the parent planet. And this guy's also got two moons. And that's got three moons, so there's another one there. Okay, okay, so let's see what we've got next. So. Oh, there's a very big system next. Is this a gas giant? Yeah, it is a gas giant. Very large gas giant as well. Let's get a comparison with Jupiter here. There you go. So there's Jupiter and then largest exoplanet. Is it bigger than the largest exoplanet? Let's have a look here. The largest exoplanet. Where are you, buddy? Uh, you are... No, I can't even find it. It's, um, where is it? It should be around here somewhere. HD. It should be... Where did... Oh, there it is. So it's a little smaller than the largest exoplanet, but still a very, very large planet. Like, let's compare it to one of the... See, look, this planet is quite large. This is um, one of the biggest exoplanets, but still, it does look quite small there. So there we go. So let's see what we've got next. So next up, we've got, um, obviously, some moons. So I won't zoom in on every single one. That one's there. It's got an atmosphere. We've also got a frozen ice world. That's like a Europa sort of planet. Then we've got like a barren wasteland look-alike. We'll make it a little bigger so we can see, you guys can see there. Um, R56, another frozen world. Then we've got a little asteroid. And then another asteroid, okay? So there's that. And then next up we've got a green object. So, oh, green gas giant. Oh, the yellow there. 
So there you go, look at that. The green gas giants always look good, I think. Look at it, it just looks amazing, doesn't it? Oh yeah, look at that. That does look nice. Green trail. I wonder where you got this from. Did you make this yourself or did you get it from somewhere? Let me know, but yeah, that's quite cool. So it looks quite similar to my one, I have to say, but I don't, obviously my simulation's not released, so you must have got it somewhere else. Actually, I think it is on the Steam Workshop. Maybe you got it there, but I don't know. Yeah, so if you didn't know, guys, the I, th I believe the Season 1 um, Solar or Planet Creator, with like the um, whole list of objects, like if I just go to Custom Creator, I believe this simulation here on the left, I believe that is in the Steam Workshop. I think some dumb gamer posted it. I, I gave him permission, obviously, but I believe it is in the Workshop. So if you guys have Universe Sandbox, maybe try and look for it um, so you can get planets like this. But um, yeah, there is R6, also a very large gas giant as well. Uh, next up, we've got R7. So here it is here. So looking good. There we go. Um, it's not any moons around that guy, but it's also quite small. Um, then we've got R8, another gas giant. A little larger than the previous one, but not as large as Saturn. Bigger than Uranus, though. So there we are. Next up, we've got um, R9, another gas giant. So a lot of gas giants out here. This guy's got a massive set of moons as well. So there it is there. So then we've got um, R91. Then we've got two, three. So they're all slightly different. I'm guessing these haven't been edited since they all do look quite default. Five, six... Um, six as well. Oh, 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 there's two sixes. Look, hey, there's a little mistake there. <laughs> so there's two sixes. Uh, then we've got seven. So um, then we've got eight. Hello there. So number eight. Uh, then we've got M1. So these are the minor ones. M1, M3, M2. There we go. So there's all those guys. Very nice. Uh, next up, we've got R10. So another gas giant. So this is a, uh, a white one, it looks like. I know it's got a bit of blue on it. We're looking the south there. So it's also quite a small gas giant, nothing too extreme there. Minus 200 degrees, how far are we from the star? Um, about 18 AU, that's sort of like Uranus sort of distances around there. Eight, maybe Saturn, Uranus sort of distance. Uh, the next one's at 27, so this is more of a Neptune sort of distance now. Here it is there, no moons either, 143 year orbit. Okay. Well, we're actually coming up to one year discovery on Pluto, or 100 years on Pluto. Pluto was discovered in 1920. And we're obviously on 2018, so we're getting close to that 100 year anniversary for Pluto. So that's quite cool. Okay, this guy here. So another green gas giant. It looks quite cool with the low light levels, like the darker sort of green. That does look good. Um, so then we've got... Um, well, these almost thought that was Io for a second there. So Hark R12-1. We've got two. Frozen Europa, World of an Atmosphere. We've got three. We're all going for blue theme. We'll look on this guy since it is modified. So there it is there. So let's uh, go on flashlight. So a very nice mix of blue there, minus 245, so yeah, this is really far away. How far is this from the star? 38 AU, so further than Neptune and Pluto's distances now. Um, R12 Force is another one, looks a bit like my custom Triton, actually. Um, this one here, Fiat number 5, okay, and then M1, it's got a little minor one. Okay, so there we go, there's all the moons for that. Now, I believe there's one more object to check out here, so Hark R13, so this is a, um, a black and grey object here. Okay, all very, very far away from the stars. It doesn't even get sunlight. It's got to um, turn these all off. So the star is just a little dot in the night sky. So this is sort of like a Sedna-like object, I'm guessing. So motion. How far away from the star? 49.9 AU. So it's not... No, it's not really a Sedna sort of object. It's not that far away. Probably more of like an Iris make-make or make-make sort of distance. So there's that. Oh, and I'm, lo Ooh, I'm liking that. Look at that. Blue and I like that cyan blue and the black, or light blue, sky blue, whatever you want to call it. That is a nice, nice object. But obviously, the way it's meant to be shown is like this. We can't really see him, but we'll just go on flashlight. So R1, or oh no, Hark R13, sorry. And then we've got uh, M1, M2, so just minor objects. Okay, cool. So there are all of those guys. This guy's in a very crazy orbit as well, since it gets very close to the star at one point. So, let's see if we can speed it up to actually get the planet to go to the close part of the star. So, you're going to... Ooh, the orbit is wobbling as well. Ooh. So, how far can we run this? Only at 19 hours. Okay, so what we will do is we'll have to move the planet forwards. We can't move the moon, sadly, with the planet, but we can move the planet. So, the moons are just going to get disconnected now. So, the planet at its closest point is about here. So, about there. So, does it get sunlight here? Well, yeah, no, it definitely will, but... Um, so at its closest point, it does get sunlight. If we just go on here, there you go. So it is getting sunlight. But obviously, at its furthest point, where it's supposed to be, 
no sunlight at all so it's put you um, all the way back where you're supposed to be and I don't even know where the moons are I think the moons have disappeared oh dear but yeah there we go so oh there they are the moons are there but yeah there we go guys so that is it for both of these systems so let's get a line up and yeah there we go so um, let us know down below in the comments which system do you think was better I know the Pulsar one is a very small system but the Pulsar is a very nice addition so yeah let me know what you think is the best and I've got to say my favorite object in here this one the brown with the green just makes it look really cool like if you compare it to this one let's get a quick comparison here all right I'm pretty sure we can all agree I think that the one with a bit of brown on it looks better than the one with all green so if you just look there I think that brown like again we'll make this guy brown just to get a look of what it looked like so something like that I think it looks better like that I, I, I have to say I, I really um, think it does look better but yeah let me know um, what you think down below in the comments I'm pretty sure the creator of this simulation um, Nico will be interested to hear what you think on his system rules so um, Nico let yourself be known in the comments so I can put your channel link in the description but yeah there we go that is everything guys so um, make sure you leave a like subscribe for more helps me join to 4,000 subscribers if you're new to the channel maybe consider subscribing um, helps me join to 4,000 as well because it'd be absolutely amazing obviously a huge thanks to everyone who's already subscribed and continues watching the videos every day massive thanks to you guys and yeah we should be getting to 4k before august the way things are going so yeah we haven't done another live stream then so that'd be awesome but yeah there we go guys that is everything so make sure you guys all have a great day and i'll see you in the next video goodbye